Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about career paths for data science, machine learning, and AI. Let's have a look. All right, so I'm inside the Super Data Science community. If you scroll here on the left, you can find career paths. Once you click that, it will take you to this page. As you can see, we've got our 17 career paths. We're constantly tweaking, updating them, improving them, and possibly adding new ones so it might look a bit different uh, when you come here. I'm going to click on this career tree, and uh, this is where we're going to spend most of our time today. Now, in the career tree, you will see all of these career paths. Each, one, each image is a career path, and we're going to understand what each one of these uh, does. So in case you don't really know much about machine learning, data science, AI, and so on, um, this is a great video for you to get accustomed with it. So we're going to start with this part of the tree, uh, which is which begins with machine learning apprentice. So basically, what you would be doing here is building models to solve uh, problems and uh, to look at data and solve problems. So machine learning apprentice gets your feet wet with that and you look at linear regression, logistic regression, classification, clustering, get some hands-on experience and basically understand what it's all about and make an educated decision if this is the right place for you. If it is the right place for you, then you can progress to one of these three uh, branches, whether it's a machine learning branch, AI branch or generative AI branch. Now we'll start by looking at machine learning. As a machine learning engineer and then a machine learning expert, you will be building models to solve problems, but to look at data and solve problems. And as you progress further and further through this uh, part of the tree, you will learn more sophisticated, more advanced models, and you'll be able to address even more difficult challenges with those models. And then when you get to machine learning expert, you will learn not only how to solve problems one off, but you'll learn how to actually productionize, productionize your uh, solution to your model. So basically you deploy them to the cloud so that whenever new data comes in, that model can run and produce an output and so on. So basically you will be building machine learning pipelines. That's at machine learning expert level. Now with AI, you'll be also using uh, models to solve data, but uh, data problems, but they'll be slightly different. They won't be just machine learning models, they'll be specifically deep learning models. So you'll be learning things like deep learning, artificial neural networks, conven convolutional neural networks, reinforcement learning, and things like that. So using artificial intelligent frameworks to solve those problems. Slightly different approach, and here you'll be working a lot with PyTorch. Uh, generative AI engineer is a very specialized type of career path where you will be working specifically with large language models and things like re um, retrieval, augmented generation, and others uh, to build LLMs and to build generative AI. So that's the machine learning area. Now, in terms of the visualization area, we've got the BI analyst and Tableau expert. They also use te uh, technology to solve data problems, but it's slightly different. Here, uh, we use visualization to solve data problems. So you might not be able to build as sophisticated things as a machine learning expert, but you will be able to see them visually and um, be, solve, find solutions or explore your data visually and build dashboards. It's a very important skill to be able to bridge the gap between the technical experts and the non-technical audience. And that's what you learn in this career path. You go very deep into that. Now, data scientist is a very cool, data analyst, data science, a very cool career path because it is not as deep as these options, machine learning, AI expert, and not even as deep as Tableau expert or visualization expert. But uh, here, what you do is, is more broad. You have to uh, ask the question, ask the right questions, learn how to ask the right questions, uh, find and clean the data, build a model, uh, pr visualize your findings and then present your findings. So it's a five step process and it involve, involves steps from uh, here and from here and also additional steps. Like think of data scientists as an investigator. They have to have a broad set of skills in order to uh, tackle the problems they're tackling. So uh, it's slightly different to these paths because it's broad, not as deep, but broader. Now, uh, this career path about data skills is if you want to add data skills to an existing career, whether you're an accountant or a business strategist uh, or you're in some other completely unrelated area, for example, marketing, you just want to add data skills. You don't want to change your career. Well, then this path is for you. Data Science Manager will give you a high level overview of how data science projects work and um, give you a feel for all these little uh, areas of data science and will help you uh, basically get that bird's eye view. 
Uh, Excel Master will help you master your Excel skills and put them on boost. Uh, machine learning with R is if you're specifically set uh, to using R as your language of choice, then we've got a path for you with machine learning with R, whereas all these other paths you use Python. And Python Wrangler is if you want to even further boost your Python skills. If you're still unclear which path is the right one for you, check out this career path quiz, which will help you decide. And I can't wait to see how your career will progress. I look forward to seeing you inside Super Data Science. And until next time, happy analyzing.